Go to the house of George Sands, the lady, not a man. He was a famous writer of the time and one of the first feminists, um, which is why her name was George rather than George with an S. And uh, she also had a lover who was Chopin and other things, attributes that made her famous.
Still know eh? Treasure Lee, superb you see. I still say these are some of the finest gardens in Europe. I think Rosie will want to come again later. My next guest will I also bring them here. Look at these beautiful flowers, absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that fantastic? I like all these bits of sculptural woodworking they're doing Patrick. here as well. Come on Patrick, you could make these, couldn't you? And sell these, I think. Just getting the wood, eh? Look at this big man in the corner. All the herbs, the lizard. Herb. And there's my hops. Tomatoes are just planted. Remember last year, if you've seen the film, or you can go back and see it. There's a huge variety of tomato plants here and they were right up high up here. Now let's go into the more formal parts of the garden. These lovely seats they've made here, everything made with these hazel branches. Just starting the grapevines. Everything made with the hazel. Idea, a little field of wheat. Their broad beans are a little further ahead than mine. Everything is early yet, so all of these plants, marrows, just been planted in straw, but nothing yet high enough to be impressive. All these beautiful gardens later will be full of flowers, it's early yet. Mint, sunflowers coming up in the middle there. All different varieties of mint and the cabbages are in, sweet corn over there. And the bees love this. Host hostas, varieties of hostas, look at this. The rose garden should be good. 
Let's have a look how many roses they have here. These glorious little roses here, aren't they absolutely beautiful? Last time I came, this lavender was in flower and absolutely humming with bees. It's not at that time yet. Nasturtiums more advanced than mine again, but so sheltered here, that's why. Sun traps. All of these trees, it's wonderful. So they're just starting to flower. Here inside this bower, this archway, this igloo of trees that's been grown up here amongst these beech trees to make a, a private little quiet place to hide away. An igloo inside, made up of these trees surrounding and bent over in an arch. And the young pears are coming. So Margaret's enjoying her look around the gardens with Anne Marie. He's rather fine, isn't he? But just look at all of these beautiful flowers here. These roses, aren't they just fantastic? Come right up into the sky. Take a look along the wall. Wouldn't you like the front of your house to be like this? Now the sunshine is out. What a difference it makes. I've just given my posters of them for my exhibitions. And the man has actually just seen my film from two years ago and loves it, so that's good. And it looks like an early wisteria is out as well. So what do you think? It's good? It's beautiful. Yes, there aren't many flowers. That's the trouble. You but need to be another five weeks, he says. We've had a lot of ideas for the um, structures, yeah, for the cave. Yeah. All different. Oh, yes. Absolutely. It's fantastic, isn't it? The sculpture and the, the beds. Yeah, yeah, I think most of my photographs are of cane, yeah. different shapes. Yep. So that I can get the out seats are wonderful too. Yeah. 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 Um, we, and we like the double... Sleeper? And the bench yep. all around the tree, all around the tree. Yes, yep. so it's really little heavy cool. to lift <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am with Margaret on her vacation, second time round. She must be very brave. She's come a second time to France and is enjoying painting with me again. Pushes me to paint lots of paintings. And we've come to these beautiful gardens at the Priory, which are wonderful, aren't they? But a little bit too early. Yep. Not quite the amount of flowers out yet. So my next one. But still some good ideas to get. So we have another week in the pits yet. We've almost done a week already. I word, it goes flies by. And the weather is just getting better, so I hope the next few days we'll be seeing some wonderful places and doing some lovely paintings and many more gardens. Keeping now back to my little gardens, and they're doing so well. The carrots and everything now, even the turnips are coming up. There's beautiful flowers there. And the flower gardens here are coming, and the peas are all coming up, and the onions are doing well, and the lettuce are there, and the cabbage and the peas and the run of broad beans so although we've just seen some wonderful gardens I'm not unhappy with mine sweet corn and the marrows there's tomatoes coming here now at last so for tea we have some salad fresh Margaret gets well this morning we're going to try something a little more unusual and take the boat down to the river and see if we can paint from that and do some of the views that uh, Money and the Impressionists did that you can't get at so easily now because when they painted there were no trees. Nowadays the whole place has become a bit of a forest. In the meantime the garden's still coming out. 
poppies everywhere. And light shining through them is absolutely delightful. I love it when the light shines through poppies, don't you? Like that. Isn't that a lovely picture? This bee on them. The light from behind. You can hear the nightingale in the background there as well. This red poppy's just about to come out, and once they come out, we could start painting, I think.